These are the beautiful botanical gardens of Kutaisi. This is a highlight of the trip, guys. Personally, I like to come to these botanical gardens just to smell all the plants and flowers. We're familiar with these in the States. Hello. Some Douglas firs. Just something so peaceful about botanical gardens. Very welcoming, attracts life. Oh, okay. So this is how it's described a Russian man. Georgian man, Armenian man. Isn't that pretty cool? They're all pretty much together too. As far as uh, location and country. Hey little birdie, I'm gonna bother you. I know you's pecking. Go a little deeper where it's quieter. My main prayer in life, speaking of quietness and solitude, my main prayer in life has always been, or well, for as long as I can remember, at least my whole adult life, when I was younger, it was that my dad stopped drinking. But, and he answered my prayer, God did. But, as an adult, um, it's been for God to place me in a home, in a country, where all I hear, the only sounds that I hear are that of nature. No human sound, no human created sounds, just nature. Anything that God creates, that's what I want to hear. And that's the only thing I want to hear. So you guys have been following me through all my travels basically for that. As I like to say in some of my posts, is uh, strictly business, guys. Strictly business. And I mean that. God is guiding me to where I need to go and I don't give up and I don't settle set to thing my beautiful wife for uh, coming along she's much simpler than I am but her love for me um outweighs that
that's why my love for her is second to Christ and Christ only. But then again, that's what you would do for your soulmate, which we are. There's no question about that. I love this. This is my fourth continent. 27th country. We are in Georgia. And there's been some things here already that not bad, but just not what I need. There's been some things here that have already made me scratch this country off of the list. Not that I have a list, like I said, um, that's just so to speak, you know, um, but this is where God brought me. I came, I saw, and it's not for me. I love this country. I mean, it's beautiful. It's one of my favorites now. Um, when you arrive here, it's so easy. Like the second you arrive to the airport, once you're inside the airport, you, um, once you're inside the airport, you get instant Wi Fi. Sorry, I got distracted by that human made sound over there, which is exactly what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, look, here we have this beautiful place to come and be serene in and then you have that human sound over there which is for me absolutely not tolerable well i mean i tolerate but it's absolutely not it's 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 a no-go for me anything like that for me is a no-go where i land where god places me when i'm like ah finally where i belong you're gonna hear nothing but birds nothing but wind nothing but animals i don't even care if they're like vicious animals like lions have you put me somewhere in africa which i haven't gone to yet but it's peaceful as far as all i hear is nature then i'm i'm staying It's funny that the the closest thing I've I've come to this I've come to to um, my goal is California, <laughs> which is where I'm from, which is where I'm escaping from. The only thing there that bothers me is the politics. So that's why I left. It's just it's just like uh, the thing about the United States that I don't like, which is, there's just like something in the air. There's like, uh, everyone's like, the first, it seems like whatever's, the. it seems like all that's on people's minds is like, what, what uh, party does he belong to? What are his views? Like they're analyzing you, like there's just this tension in the air that is disgusting. It is just disgusting and I will not tolerate that. You know how bad that is for your energy, guys? Especially if you're looking for peace. Some people thrive in those environments, not me. I begin to decay. And decaying I was. That's why I bounced. That's why I left. I said, no, thank you. And here you get none of that, man. You get none of that. Here in Georgia. I still have some of my roots come back and haunt me though. By that I mean like my upbringing is, is 
I'm sure you guys know I grew up in the ghetto and the barrio Pico Union so um I have that man well I don't have that mentality but sometimes that mentality creeps up on me for example today I went to the cathedral here in Georgia and I say about 10 minutes as soon as I walk in it's beautiful you guys should check out the vlog if you haven't but as soon as I started walking in there was a, a gentleman that was clearly clearly watching me a Georgian uh, gentleman from afar uh, and it, it's pretty big it's it's nice like it's got a lot of grass area where there's horses and dogs so stay tuned for that vlog if I haven't uploaded it yet and if I have you should go check it out but um so you'll probably see him in there because I was recording a lot he was he was like looking at me from far and then I would turn and then he would look away and so I'm like is this dude law enforcement like who is this dude you know like do I not need to be recording here you know I was already thinking he was like eyeballing me to tell me I'm doing something wrong you know what I mean and so that's that it's that uh ghetto mentality that the barrio mentality where you know wherever you go you think that people are uh looking at you and judging you based on who you are how you look you know based off of whatever energy you feel you're giving off um but that wasn't the case he came in to once i went inside the uh the cathedral he came in and approached me and i'm like oh, what does he want he's gonna say that i can't record in here or something and he took off his hat because we were inside the cathedral and he's like excuse me english right and then i was like yes and then he's like i'm up i'm a private tour guide um i don't have much work i haven't worked in a while i was wondering if you would like to give me if you would like for me to give you a tour of this place while um you record and i was like oh my goodness gracious and here i was being judgmental and here i was thinking that he was judging me and it was a complete opposite and see that's that's the type of stuff that which is beautiful that i'm healing from guys when i say i'm healing it's exactly what i mean a lot of you guys living in the united states not necessarily ghettos and hood but definitely if you're living you came from ghettos and barrios but you may come from a trailer park you may come from a city you come you may be come from uh suburbia you may come from the laguna hills <laughs> you know what i mean it doesn't matter where you come from but you already come programmed with certain biases based on the country that you're from and i'm sorry to say guys but the united states oh it really programs some demons man it programs some uh minds and uh I just wanted to escape all that, but enough of that. I take my own advice and uh, shut up so no human sounds are heard, just nature.
See what type of wild animal that is over there. You see it moving? Look at it. What is it? It's moving fast. What is it, guys? Here we go. What type of wild animal was that? Smells so good in here. Where is Bond? Some of you'll be able to recognize these flowers just by looking at them. Not me. The only ones I know are petunias and roses and daffodils and daisies. Other than that, I'm lost. Those right there we're familiar with. Southwest part of the 
Los Angeles. Beautiful. <sighs> Can we go in there? Oh my goodness, that's where they're at. What my eyes are attracted to. But yeah, that's where it's at. Let me see. They better let us in there, man. For five euros, we best go in there. Oh, it's locked. So they have a vent, I presume. Closest thing I've seen to Redwoods. My <sighs> this here's the area that smells the best. A lot of these in Cali. <laughs> Going back to uh, what I was saying about a mentality that you're born with and a mentality that you're given. The whole nature versus nurture, which is greater. Well, I believe that nature is because despite me having all this PTSD and all this other stuff that life in the United States gave me. Here's an example of my nature. When I arrived to the airport and I saw the line to get from Barcelona to Georgia, um i felt embarrassed i felt embarrassed because georgia is a very poor country and it was nothing but georgians on one side and i was standing by myself uh, on the priority line yeah i had priority and i felt embarrassed i felt embarrassed i even have the text to prove it when i text my wife i was like these people are poor and here I am on a priority line. Um, and that's nature right there. You know, some people will feel special or entitled because they're in the private line or priority line. But my wife hit the, she, that's why I love my wife. She, she, she sent, she really sent the message home. She emphasized what it is. She's like, don't be embarrassed, you know, that's just a, a sign of who you are as a person and why I fell in love with you. And that's not to toot my own horn, that's just something that happened in my life and that, you know, I, uh, I really felt awkward just standing there because uh, I'm nothing, nothing like those people that feel entitled, nothing like those people that feel they're better than you in fact that's uh, a group of uh, people I despise I'm human I can despise sorry 
God is trying to mold me into a better man. And I pray about it. But yeah, people like that uh, can't be around. And in that moment, I felt like the people on the other line were thinking that of me. And there I was with a USA jersey too. A Jordan gold medal jersey. And again, I just like that jersey and uh, in retrospect, should I have worn it? No, especially coming out here to this part of uh, the region. Might upset some Russian folks and all that, but yeah, that's that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, tour of the Botanical Gardens here in Kutaisi, Georgia. Here's a little glimpse in case you guys want to come by. Beautiful place to gather your thoughts. If you're introspective like myself, introverts like to be alone or with that special someone, you happen to be here in Kutasi, this is your spot.